Welcome to another Everything Google G Suite video is here. and in today's two minute video we're looking at Google Gmail uh, and in particular I get asked quite a lot is basically the option to set up read receipts so I'm going to show you how to do that and a couple of additional options that I've seen that are quite hidden away in the Gmail uh, application but I'm going to show you how to do that quickly so I'm going to head over to my email so what you need to do first is if you click on compose and I'll just make this a bit bigger on the bottom right hand corner there you'll see uh, three little dots so if you click on that and you'll see the option to set up uh, read receipts you select that type your email and the message and the person who receives it will get the option to accept that uh, receipt and what you also found in here was basically the options to create labels well, not create labels but tag emails to labels so say for example you're sending an email and you want to have its own little label or tag to it you can click on that and it shows your existing label that you have set up in your inbox so it all automatically tags the, the email before it actually gets sent out which is great because then you don't have to go in later on and try to organize it it's already there for you and obviously as you can see there as well uh, is also a spell checker which is a, a feature that most people are definitely going to need to use but you don't actually see it in the actual main uh, toolbar so you have to come over here to the three dots to do that what I do need to point out to you is basically the re receipt option is only available on the business and uh, domain accounts. So if you don't see that option there, it may be worth speaking to your Google administrator to see if you can enable that for you. Uh, we have it set up here, but if you're not or you have any problems or have any questions, leave a comment in the video and I'll get back to you. Don't forget to hit that like button and that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next video.